Wiki, 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 what, what? Wiki, wiki, what, what? We starting. You know what I was doing? I'm I'm currently barefoot right now. Or not barefoot, but without shoes. I am sock. I'm socked. I'm socked up. No bare feet. No bare feet on my feet. No feet exposed. But whenever I walk downstairs with either bare feet or... I walk downstairs with socks on. I realize that I kind of like cuff the the edge, the top edge of the stair with my toes, and I kind of like I like I step intentionally. So I got this muscle memory down, man. I got this muscle memory down. Let's get this pencil off my ear. There we go. Slam that on the table disrespectfully. So, um, I I I will step down so that my my toes kind of like caress the top edge of the stair it fits like a glove it's very fitting and i just keep over over and over just grabbing the top edge of the stair does anybody else do that do you know what i'm talking about am i doing a good job describing it so like say this is the edge this is the stair right here all right let's make this hand this this hand right here i like kind of like caress it i caress it and it doesn't improve my balance whatsoever, but like that's how I that's how I step downstairs whenever I'm not wearing shoes. I just I just realized that you know that's that's some self awareness shit right there. That's that's kind of a weird thing. It's kind of weird to think about all the weird things you do like unconsciously, like whenever you're just going about your day, maybe like nervous tics you've developed or just whatever, just your own little proclivities to going about this experience we call life like one i one i started doing this because of a girlfriend i dated back uh my freshman year of high school which by the way i'm actually living with her brother as a roommate now uh this upcoming year which is kind of a funny thought but uh with that being said i'll, I'll just sit in class man and I'll, like I'll, I'll just pop my fingers like frequently and they i've heard it like leads to arthritis i don't cur. I don't care, bruh. I don't care. Man, I arthritis, who are you? Arthritis, who are you? I don't know. I I don't know how bad it would be to live with arthritis, well I know, but I don't I've also heard that's just bullshit too. I've also heard that whenever you like pop your your knuckles or you pop your fingers, whatever. Like I'm all popped out for the day. I'm all popped out. I I got nothing to pop. I got nothing to prove. Nothing to pop. Nothing to prove. Wait, let's see if I can do this. Oh, a little bit. But apparently it's like releasing the gases in between your fingers. Is that a good thing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want arthritis. That would suck. I got details. I got meticulous little details I got to do with these hands. These hands have seen hard work, son. These hands have seen... What it's like to walk up hills both ways. These hands have seen so much, son. Some people get mad. Like, some guys, like, pride themselves on having, like, rough hands. Like, if you tell particular males that their hands are, like, soft, they'll get, like, offended. Oh, I'm I'm a masculine man. I work hard labor. I worked on a train station. Like, oh... It's like, dude, your hands are soft. It's cool. Doesn't mean you're soft. You got that you got that mental callus, bro? You got that mental callus up here? You a tough individual? That's what I care about. That's what masculinity is about, man. Not not about your fucking hands being having calluses all over them. That's dumb. It's a dumb thing to pride yourself on. When people tell me I have soft hands, which was a very very common compliment I used to receive back in high school. Back in high school, I said thank you. Manny Petty, baby. That's my secret. And then I give them some little life hacks, some tips and tricks on how to soften their hands so they can be like me. Because that's how people mean it when they tell you you have soft hands. They mean it as a compliment. You just got to, as somebody who's receiving that message... You gotta, you gotta kind of uh, interpret how they how they meant it. Was it condescending? Unlikely. 
unlikely. They were probably just trying to be nice and start a conversation because sometimes whenever you're having mundane, casual encounters with people, it's hard to strike up a conversation and talk about things. So people just revert back to the first thing, the only sensory information that has hit their mind about you in that moment because they're unable to come up with anything else to talk about. So you need to continue the conversation in a positive manner by saying thank you. Just a thought. Be grateful, bro. Express that gratitude. It's all about mindset. It's all about mindset. Positive mindset, bro. Positive mindset. It is it is actually wild how much like I don't know, your mindset can go up and down just on a daily basis. You ever think about that? Like how much how much like I was in a great mood earlier today. Like a great mood. And now I'm like in a good mood. And that's just like in the shift of like a few hours. Like, I'm sure I've been down this week too. Like, I don't even necessarily identify as somebody that's high in neuroticism, but like, I feel like my mood swings are like this. And I'm, I bet women have it even worse. Like, I've heard, I've heard women, oh wow, I don't want to, like, something about the biological makeup of a woman's mind happens to like, there's something, there's something about it to where it's, literally more difficult for them to feel positive about themselves and have like a positive self-image i forgot why that is it, and it wasn't like it, the argument for that was like it wasn't like a cultural thing it was like a like an innate predisposition to their biological makeup like it's kind of a weird thought that you are literally constrained by your own mind on feeling positive emotions it's a weird, weird thought, man. All right, moving on. Oh, wait, I already know it's in this phone. This list of topics in my phone. Big Sean is the GOAT. He's not necessarily my favorite artist, but this is why Big Sean is the ghost. The GOAT. The ghost. The ghost. He's as white as a ghost. He's secretly white. He's like 21 Savage and secretly from Britain and a white man. He supports white supremacy, and he'll never admit it. But that's who Big Sean is at heart. No, but for real, Big Sean, B-I-G, Big Daddy, Big Daddy Shawnee, Big Daddy Shawnee. He is the GOAT because in one of his songs, oh, this is like one of his most popular songs as well. What was what was the line, man? It was like, I'm going to sit back more, adjust that mic. I think the mic's actually like almost falling off. But, uh... What was the line? Oh, it was such a goat line. Uh, no, I know. I remember the line. I can't remember the song. Oh, it was last night took an L, but tonight I bounce back, back. And you got every every white girl in the club dancing, shaking the booties, getting it, getting it to that song. And they're just like, oh, we we took it out this week in class. Ha ha. This is now we're just gonna party and excuse ourselves of that L. Ha ha. Twerk, twerk, twerk. No, but it, whenever whenever you, uh, what am I saying? This was the line. This was the line in that song. The line in the song. Let's not took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Back! Bounce back. That's the name of the song. Is It's like one of those those filler verses, those filler parts where like he has a, he has a separation between this sentence and this sentence, so he fills it with like some background noise, but it's the background noise of his own voice. But it also has that backgroundy sound. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, hey, I'm talking. Right now I'm talking up close and I'm about to talk closer. If you ever get in my way, you better move over. Over. You know what I'm talking about? It's like over here, like the filler parts, like he's like, oh, he just took a step back from the mic and yelled some shit. Migos does that a lot. But the background noise that I'm referring to. The lyrical genius that is Big Sean B I G, boy, boy, the guy who makes boy, boy, he branded his word boy, boy, finally famous. He, uh, Big Sean, has a line that says, "Thank you, God. God bless you." The dude, God bless God himself or herself. The formless, not gender neutral God. He God blessed. What do you say to that? 
How is he not the GOAT? How is Big Sean not the GOAT after God blessing God? Swear to God, like, listen to it. Maybe I'm just mishearing this. I have not I have not done any, like, factual interpretation of this song to make sure that I'm, like, correct. But he God blesses God, and I'm most positive about that shit, man. He's like, thank, thank you, God. God bless you. Thank you, God. God bless you. And he, like, go, bounces back into the song. Unless I took an L, but to not I bounce back. Back! It's pretty impressive stuff, man. God blesses God. I'm not cool enough to God bless God. I do not have the authority. I do not have the status. What is the threshold of God bless God? How do I God bless God? I want to God bless God so hard. That he is forced to deep throat my God blessing. My blessing of himself. I would love to like get intimate with the divine. Just think about sex sometimes, man. I'm not going to elaborate on this point too much. But sometimes Halsey has a line. It's like, I've only felt religion when I lied with you. I don't know about you. I've had some like encounters that get like spiritual. It's like the masculine and the feminine became one in that moment through the power of penetration. And it's a beautiful thing, man. It's called making love. Get familiar, son. Get with it, diggity boy. Giggity, giggity, goo. Get with it. Get with it or get out, boy. Boy, boy, boy. I got nothing else on my mind. Ooh, no, I don't want to talk about that yet. I have a topic written down. I'm about 11 minutes in. I feel like I could talk about more. And I do want to talk about more. I feel like talking about more. Should Therefore, I should talk about more. Right, doggers? Right, doggers? Maybe doggers? I try to be entertaining. I really do. I'm just talking to myself. I'm talking to a camera. I don't like silence in these moments. Let's embrace the silence. All right, after that moment of silence. It's just weird, man. Like, whenever you're the only one talking, like, you need, you feel and need a sense of obligation to kind of, like, I don't know, just uh, not let silence happen and to keep talking and to keep being entertaining and keep being goofy and keep talking about shit that you find cool. I was going to say cool shit, but cool is subjectively defined. You know, I will talk about this. This is something that's been on my mind a little bit lately. Is I'm talking really fast today. I don't know why. I don't know why. But, uh... Is... I think most people are misunderstood. I think most people are good at heart. I really do. I think a lot of people are misunderstood. And their atten- intentions are assumed. Especially in college. Because I'm in a college environment where I'm speaking to you from. Coming at you live... From the town of college, college in, college in, college. And I just think, I think a lot of people are misunderstood, including myself down here. I think, I think it's a very common thing for people to be mis- misunderstood. I think most people are good people at heart. Most people have pretty decent in- intentions for the most part. And I think, I think society and people and individuals are just too judgmental of that. I don't know. I don't know definitively, but I, I just think most people have good intentions. I think most people are good, good people at heart. And it's, it's just always a really good, reassuring thing whenever you meet somebody that you thought was, like, so malevolent. Like, you just thought they were, like, the Antichrist. You thought they were so evil. And you get to know them a little bit more. You get a little bit, you, you implement a little bit more empathy and understanding towards them um, through patience and listening and developing an attempted connection and you realize most people are pretty cool most people are pretty good and sometimes people do shitty actions because they're trying they have good intentions and they're trying to justify other things and sometimes people do things out of jealousy which is maybe even rooted in love their their jealousy is rooted because they love somebody else and they care about somebody else Which is a weird concept because that duality can exist behind like the intent of something being with loving intentions, thinking that they're doing something that's caring, thinking they're doing something that's loving. And 
it, it the action is just purely hate. It's purely hate. So it's interesting. Sometimes you just gotta dig. You gotta dig a little deeper. You know, you just gotta you just gotta do a little digging. Do a little digging. Do it right in my crotch. You gotta do a little digging. You gotta do a little digging. You gotta do a little digging, and you might find out that the person was over at your house the other day attempting to murder you because they care about you. Extreme example. But you get what I'm saying, right? Ah, maybe maybe you do, maybe you don't. Maybe I didn't do enough elaborating. Maybe I should elaborate more, but I'm not going to. That's about it. That's about quits. That's about calls it quits. Quits. Quittage. Quittage. And on that note, I am going to go now. I will see you all later, doggers. 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 No, but real, for real, if you, if you watch this far, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your patience. I try to be entertaining. I really do. It's a, it's an interesting format, talking, 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 talking. Just sitting here talking to a camera, just rambling, rambling about my thoughts, my ideas, my opinions, my perspectives, my goofiness, whatever. I try to be entertaining, man. It's, it's a difficult task to hand myself. I mean, it's not like anybody asked me to do this, but I enjoy doing it. And I'm learning the platform slowly but surely. Surely Sheldon. Or I probably shouldn't have said that. That's a personal person. I was Shirley Temple. That's who I was thinking. Shirley Temple. And um slowly but surely I'm figuring it out and figuring it out. Figuring out more about this world, more about myself, more about who I want to be, and more about how to do this podcast and how to be entertaining, informative, loving, and enjoyable to listen to. I guess that'd be classified as entertaining. Entertainment, entertaining. I don't know. I just like the idea of maybe if I could spread some information, spread some laughter, spread some love, spread some whatever. Spread, just spread some positivity, however you de- define that, however I choose to define that. Then I, maybe I can make the world a better place and I have the opportunity to do so on a mass platform in a massively produced way that the world has never seen before via the internet. So if I can at least attempt to make the world a little bit better by my own definition, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, some things will happen. Some ripples will, some different actions will be taken and maybe I can positively impact one life, two lives, however many. That's the cool thing about the internet, man. It's a ripple. One, it's a ripple and it's a mass, it's a mass information platform a mass form of communication and being able to uh talk and get ideas and spread ideas and spread information and knowledge and whatever and maybe 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 i can positively impact a life or two maybe i can at least make people laugh which is still positively impacting a life or two so many ways to positively impact somebody and man i'm not trying to change the world i'm just saying maybe i could spread a laugh maybe i can maybe i can change somebody's perspective maybe i can introduce somebody to something it's just some thought, just some thoughts, just some thoughts. And on that note, doggers, on that note, doggers, I just want to say I'm doing my best. Much love. Has I have a lot of very loving intentions behind my reasoning for doing this. And I try to be authentic to the best of my ability, and hopefully my effort shows somewhat. And I'm sorry that you had to look at me for this long, because I'm 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 ugly. I'm uh, I'm ugly. All right, I'll see you guys later. You you good people out there. I'll see you later. Bye, doggers.